This is the first of several videos from our first RV show, and they don't allow dogs at the RV show, so we're going to drop off Nola at her favorite daycare. It's Odometer Day, Episode 3, New Camp Tab Boondock Teardrop Campers. We're at 85,470 miles. We are arriving in the suburb of Schaumburg, Illinois, because we're going to the Greater Chicago RV Show, which is our very first RV show ever. MT and I have really only been looking at Class B van conversions and smaller Class C RVs, but we saw a lot of trailers at the Greater Chicago RV Show, and these two made by New Camp really got us thinking about RVing in a different way than we had originally thought. This is the New Camp Tab S, and this one has the optional Boondock Edge package, which gives it this extra plastic corner guard, along with some graphics and a cool door handle. And walking around it, you realize just how tiny it is just over 15 feet long and about six and a half feet wide, so it'll fit in a lot of garages. We were both really impressed with how well these were made. They have this aluminum platform for additional storage and for stepping up to clean the windows. It gives us some extra storage options. There was really nothing that felt cheap about these, and that's reflected in the price, which we'll get to in a second. <laughs> this is great. Um, all right. I cannot stand up all the way. Even though New Camp designed this for two people, I think it'd really be ideal if you were a solo camper, because that's a pretty small bed. There are a lot of nice touches that maximize the space, like this netting up above the window. And of course, we're always thinking about where to put the dog, and I'm not really sure where we would in this guy. Uh, it's a wet bath, not surprisingly. Pretty tight in there, and there's no uh, standing height. So when you're taking a shower, um, you're probably doing it sitting down on the toilet seat. Um, nice little sink, two burner stove. There were several price sheets floating around, and I think you can ignore that one. A fridge freezer, basically a sort of a, a mini fridge, yeah. This is really adorable. I just, the, the fact that I can't stand up would drive me insane. By the way, I'm six foot one inch, and I actually had trouble getting out of the camper with my backpack. I ended up having to turn around and back out. I'm trying to figure out how to get out. So these are, it's like an automotive roof rack mounted on the sloping roof. Maybe you could attach uh, bike mounts here and have your bikes hanging off the back of this. I'm not sure. And if you want to move the trailer around in your garage or driveway or around your campsite, you can use these handles uh, at each corner of the trailer. But we found another use. Well, you could attach the dog leash to that. Yeah, yeah that's not dangerous at all. Oh, okay, here is the one I like. Yeah, this is the 2020 Tab 400, and this one has the optional Boondock Light package, not the Edge. I had, I really had never considered a trailer until I saw this one. It's small, but it's not tiny. Oh, now I can stand up in this, which is really nice. Everything about this is smart. Like, this is sort of a weird shape, the way that dinette is, but it works perfectly for the space. I think two of us could sit on one side and Nola could sit on the other side. A wet bath with a fold-down sink. And some really disturbing red stuff. So the red is um, uh, antifreeze. It's uh, part of the winterizing. Look at those shelves that are lit. Like all of these little spaces are lit. You're going to see that um, in the fridge later. And I, I just love the way they handle the lighting and all the outlets. The sink pulls down. I didn't think I would like the idea of a wet bath, but honestly, how many times are we going to use the shower in here? In the rental, we, I think I took a shower twice. You can actually stand up in the shower in there, but it is still a wet bath. You're, that toilet's going to get 
wet. So again, here with the little kitchen setup, it's not even really a kitchen, but you know, you have a little two burner stove, little sink. Um, everything's really stove. well made. These are really nice. Oh, these are nice cabinets. It's not like I want to live in this space. It's like, what, what is that thing in Battlestar Galactica where there's like the big battleship that everybody lives in? And then this is like that little tiny shuttle that goes off and goes to places. That's this. It's perfectly made. I wonder why they didn't have it open. Oh, because when you're cooking, you're... That's why it opens this way. This is so much nicer than the other little one. I know. Look at that little blue light in there. They're like, eh, we're not giving you a freezer, but look how cute the fridge is. Um, and this is a good amount of space. You can see your water level in your tank there. It's kind of hard to make out. I don't feel like I'm doing a good job of getting the overall look of how cute this is. Um, and this, like, imagine waking up and you got this sunroof right over you. Uh, this opens up to vent. There's a shade there. There's a dark shade, which might, actually this might be a screen as well. I can't tell. There's no country-esque kind of weird trim work. Everything is just really elegant and i also like the idea that i don't know what the reality of us rving is and if we only are doing this really a few times a year to be able to just hitch that up to something keep it in the garage the rest of the time i i think if if we were getting a small travel trailer yeah this would definitely be at the top of my list yeah. although i also have to say with a trailer like this i feel like it's great that I could drive my car away from it, but then I feel like I would be worried about it leaving it in the campground because it's so cute. And you could just pull it away by those handles and then like somebody could really easily steal your house. So what did you think of that one? <laughs> Leave us a comment and let us know. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Dog. Let's go. I'm 